Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can further fine tune the parameter of the Shiny application that we created in the previous video uh, where we have seen the, uh, the word cloud that we have automated in the Shiny app. So let me run the Shiny app and uh, show you in action and before I do that, quick information that if you are interested in learning ClickView and you can visit my channel data and tools and if you are interested in learning tableau related tutorial then you can visit my channel bi and programming tutorial videos all right let me go back to r and let me run the app so here we have uh, earlier if you have seen that we had only browse option and create word cloud but now we have the options of selecting the minimum frequency of word so let's say from one frequency to two frequency and along with that our word cloud will be updated so let me go back to one and then the minimum frequency so that's the wrong label that's basically is uh, the number of words so 100 words we want to show 200 words or how many words and whether we want random order or not so currently uh, it is not random order but if you want random order we will check this and it will change to random order and if you can check it will move back and then finally the word cloud color theme um, so currently it is accent and then if you want to change it to dark we can change it to dark so that's what i basically want to tell that uh, how you can you know really make your word cloud interactive and uh, useful for your end users so if i select again the speech that that was given so each is over here now we can set the parameters select the minimum frequency let's say we want to see it to three uh, we want to select the uh, number of words i will change the label in a couple of seconds so let's say we want 400 words the maximum number of words we want to show it on the word cloud and we don't want random order and we want dark theme and let's create the word cloud and here we have the word cloud and if i want to adjust the parameters like some more words words are coming over here i want to change my theme of color my theme is changing over here and i want to set the minimum frequency from three to two then it will take a couple of seconds and create the word cloud and similarly if i want one again it will take some time and progress bar as you can see and then it will going to create the word cloud for you so that's how you can see how interactive you can make your word cloud for your end users so that it becomes really an uh, amazing experience that on just few clicks says by setting up certain parameters you are able to do it all of that things without much of a hesitation all right let me go back to the code and show you everything in the action so earlier in my video you must have seen that i have only given file input but now i am giving slider input which is uh, first of all word for word frequency that means the number of words so if i go back so this is the first one the word number of frequencies and then we have the maximum number of words so select the max number of words so that's how i can change it and then I'm saying that it should start from at least one word to maximum 500 words and what should be my current value on the slider so 100 same in this case the minimum frequency will be one maximum frequency of word will be 10 and then slider should have one as a starting point after that the checkbox group input where it says the random order is equals to what should be the random order and the third parameter is basically says the value uh, by default it is false so i want to make it false i have not given it because that's what the default value is finally i have the radio button for color where i have given the id select the for color and then label select the word cloud uh, color theme i have given two option you can give n number of option and how you can find the option by uh, simply if i press control c or stop this and brewer dot bell question mark brewer dot bell. and here you have the themes down here these are all the themes that i can pass it on the server so i have chosen only the accent and dark the first two 
and by default I have asked to select accept. Well, these are all the parameters that you could see along with the action button at the end uh, here in the uh, shiny app. All right, now go ahead and see it in the server. So within the server, uh, that's where we have done all of the changes. So the first thing is accepting the word, word cloud color. Uh, by default, we have set it to 8 comma set 2. And then we are checking if input dot color. So that's the idea of a color. So let me save it. That's the color. So if we are saying input dollar color is accent, then making changing the wc underscore color object to bria dot pal 8 comma accent. Else, since we don't have a multiple condition, I have just given the else. Otherwise, else if you could have given and test or you know have all of these things, all of these colors over there. So else bria dot pal 8 comma dot 2. So that's what I have given. After this, in the word cloud, I have given the parameters directly that minimum frequency is input dollar word frac so word frac is coming from here so that is changing on the fly similarly maximum word is input dollar max word that is what it is coming from slider input and then you have colors we are passing the object wc underscore color because that that's how it is storing all the colors based on the changes in the front end and then random order is input dollar random the checkbox that we have given and then finally rotation i have changed i have just keep it fixed 0.3 but you can also change it as it is a dynamic value you can take it from your end user so maybe as an assignment for your uh, home you can uh, you can really automate this also so with that uh, we are pretty much done and we can run that and if you run the app, that's how we get it. If you want any file, text file specifically, I can set the parameters, all of those things, dark, random order or not, or this, word cloud, and it will create a word cloud for me in a couple of minutes. So because random order is true, that that's what we have selected. That's why we are not able to see the max frequent words down there in the end. But if I change this, it will accordingly change the random order and now the most frequent word will come in the end. So that's what I wanted to show you about how you can further enhance your automation from a simple automation to a much more interactive automation and make your user's life more meaningful. Or maybe your own life because you are a text analytics expert and want to create this day in day out in your job. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.